Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve uh, you know, one of the most requested scenario that is dynamic currency calculator in Tableau. So let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So what do we need here? So what are the prerequisites? First is, you know, we need obviously the data set, right? So second is we need the currency rates so now the challenge here is this currency conversion rates keep changing okay so for that what do we need to do we need to keep updating this or you can write a tab by script and get the you know latest exchange rates that is another scenario so in this example what i'm uh, trying to do is i'm trying to uh, create another file with exchange rates in that Okay, and assume this we are going to update it frequently or you can use some built in function uh, of uh, Excel file to get the latest exchange rates that is also possible and we can do that. So here I am manually adding static values. Okay, so these are the few uh, these are the prerequisites that we need. Okay, data set. Okay, currency exchange rates because this will keep changing. We need this and you can do it in multiple ways, like I said. So here in our use case, what I have done is I have created two files. One is my data set. Okay, so in my data sets, I have some sample data. Okay, for my current year or current period, whatever you can think. And I have some price that is there. And I have also the reporting currency that is there. Now the challenge is based on this, I want to create a value like whatever the currency user is selecting that value it has to be automatically updated okay that is the challenge here so for that i have created another excel or another file in which i am finding what are the exchange rates that are available so this you can get it from google like uh, i've taken this story this site i have used to get the rates okay and i've just you know added them into my file that is what I have done here. Okay. So as per my dates, okay. And as per the original currency that is there. So what is the original currency here? If you go, this is my original currency. Okay. On for that original currency, what is my conversion rate here? If at all, I want to convert that into USD. This is my rate. If at all, I want to convert that into UEUR. That is the rate and all like that. Okay. So this is my exchange rate I would call simple so if you are clear till here we will go to next step next step is we need to you know bring these two into a tableau okay and uh, i'm just trying to create a new file here and i'll bring those two into our tableau and connected those two files so i'm connecting to that files okay first is this one I've connected to that. And I'm also connecting to the currency rate file here. Okay, and I'm making a left join here. Now I am also adding my sales currency in the join condition. Because one is my date should be matching here. Because every date, every day, the rate of conversion might vary, right? And for that, we also need the currency rate here should be matched. Like if I'm validating against USD, it should be USD here, right? So those two I have done. Now based on that, I've taken, uh, I've established my connection. Now I'm going to my you know, view here and I'm creating a parameter here. And I'll write, uh, as select, sorry. See, and I'm taking string type and here I'm writing list of the currencies that I need, like say USD, uh, CAD, GBP, INR, EUR. So I've taken some five currencies here. Okay, so if at all you want to add more, that also you can do, I'm clicking on okay and 
it is that now whatever the currency the user is selecting here our values should change according to that so i'm just trying to bring in the values here that we have i have date i have product i have i also have my sales currency and i'm taking my price here okay so i'll just convert uh, that into label for now okay this is the value we have, we have. so this is our actual current uh, sales or price with respect to the current year now i'm writing a calculation for that case of sorry case of my select currency okay when it is gbb i want my price to be multiplied by the price of gpb okay same likewise when the price is cad i want the price of price to be multiplied with the cad price that's it so this concept you need to understand so if you are clear here you can write this very easily and this we will use it for our final purpose price into INR. Likewise, when it is EUR, then it's price into EUR. Ending it. That's it. Okay. Click on apply. Okay. This we can use it on the view. And we can compare. Now, if I am converting it into INR, let us see. Okay. INR, our current price, it is showing. 100 okay this is with respect to our current currency but with respect to inr it is 9935 how can i tell that okay so if i go to my excel we'll take what is the date here 21st of april 2024 right so we'll check check what is the price of inr on that day and uh, on 21st inr rate is 9935 okay so we'll open the calculator here and I'm going to my tableau here. So how much of uh, this we have? It is 100, right? So same 100 into 99 .35. .35. So 9,935 we got. Same result here we got. So this way we can calculate. So based on that particular day, whatever the rate is there, it is calculated. Same likewise here we will do. So for 2022, uh, sorry, I mean uh, April 2022, the price is 15,000 here, right? But here it is showing 1486. Let us calculate that. So I'm going to my Excel. On 2022, what is the rate here? It is 99.08. So if you observe here, the price is changing, right? So here it is 35 and here it is 0.8. So these small variations also matter a lot in terms of conversion rates. Okay. So I'm going to my calculator 15,000 into 99.08. So we got 1486200. It should be same 1486200. Now, whatever the currency I choose, my values are changing. So like this, you can write. Okay. So with this side, uh, I'm ending my video. I hope you have learned something new in this video. If you have, don't forget to give you a valuable feedback. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.